Kia ora guys, what's going on? I'm Daniel and I hope you guys are having a good day, dressing well and getting stuff done. Now in today's video guys, I have a DIY tutorial for you fellas. So guys, before we do get into today's video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below. Also, come chill out with me on the daily and you can do this by following my Instagram account which is at I'm Daniel Simmons. So guys, if you remember in my first DIY tutorial, which was the cropped pants one, I told you guys that it's something that I'm going to get into a lot more. Now what I would like you guys to know, and I mentioned this in the first one, is that I'm terrible with this stuff. DIY and like, even just like building shit, like you know like there's that typical thing that like men are meant to like, you know, be able to put a desk together and be able to you know, I don't know, you break down a wall, like, I can do it, it'll just take me like double the time that it's meant to, and I'm fine with that because it's not something I do all the time, and it's something that if I did do all the time, I'd start to get better at it, so my kind of point to whatever I'm saying right now is that I encourage you guys to try these DIY tutorials, and don't like flake on it just because you think you'll be bad at it. Because with anything guys, the only way to get better is to keep practicing and nobody, unless you're the most gifted ass person, like comes in and does something perfect the first time. So guys, keep that in mind. If there's anything you take away from this video, that's what I want you guys to take away from it. So with all that being said guys, let's get into the tutorial. So guys, the first thing you'll need is two t-shirts, ideally graphic t-shirts, just to kind of give that whole effect. But again, eat your own, do what you want. What I would recommend with the t-shirt, especially when you're trying this for the first time, just go for a cheap budget t-shirt just make sure that they're both the same like sizes so that I don't get a large and an extra large like obviously you'll get why that won't work second thing you will need is a pair of scissors ideally if you can again fabric scissors it'll just cut a straighter line and third on the list guys is some fabric glue ideally again strong holding fabric glue but you can just go somewhere like Amazon you can pay something like three five pounds for some fabric glue and that's it guys no sewing no stitching no nothing no duct tape just that. Alright guys, so getting into it first, what you want to do is lay out your t-shirt completely flat. I, now, what I do recommend to you guys is iron your t-shirt first. This is something I didn't do. I just took it straight out of the bag, which is why you can see it's creased. Iron out the t-shirt so the t-shirts and everything about it, it's, it, it's in its proper length. That's what you want. So that was kind of my mistake, but it still worked. I definitely recommend you guys ironing it first so everything is nice and flat. So once you've laid out your t-shirt nice and flat, what you want to do is fold the t-shirt perfectly in half. So again, take your time here, just make sure everything lines up perfectly. Once you have lined it up, this is when you want to grab your scissors and you're going to start cutting from the bottom all the way up. Again, when you are cutting, just take your time, go nice and slow, try to keep it as straight as possible. But at the same time, it doesn't matter if you do kind of curve off a little bit. As you see, mine's not perfectly straight at all. But what's good is when you get to the gluing stage, it kind of you can kind of hide that factor. So once you've done the first t-shirt, that's when you want to do the exact same process on the other t-shirt, fold it in half, cut from the bottom, and there we go. So now we have cut our t-shirts in half. Now what is great actually about this is that if you actually stuff it up the first time, let's say you do it all and you've just somehow done a terrible job, you've now actually, you still actually got the other two halves to try again. So that is what's really good about this as well. So you actually get two attempts to make that perfect t-shirt. Now this is when you want to open up both t-shirts and you actually want to grab one and lay it on top of the other one. You want to lay it so you have one print side facing up and then the t-shirt that comes over the top print side laying down. This is the line that you're going to glue along. You're going to glue along that whole printed pattern side. Now guys, when you are gluing along the line, again, take your time, just do, do it in little phases. Don't try to do one big ass straight line. Just take your time, you know, tap it down, move on to the next bit and just try to line it up as perfect as possible. Now once you have done one side, guys, what I do recommend is you to wait roughly about one to two hours before doing the other side, just to make sure it has kind of dried a bit. Otherwise, if you do want to speed up the process a bit, you actually can just grab a hairdryer just to go it over because it'll dry it out a lot quicker. Again, you want to repeat the process on the other side, flip it over, line it up, and glue all the way down the side. All right, guys, so once you have glued both sides together, what I recommend is you to leave it. Like, don't touch it. I know you'll be excited to try it on like I was as well. I was like, oh, now surely I can just put it on now. No, wait 24 to 48 hours. Let that glue really, really dry. Again, if you want, you can just grab the hairdryer, but I still recommend waiting a decent amount of time, at least 24 hours 
before putting on that t-shirt. You just want to really make sure that glue has held together nicely because you don't want it just falling apart. But guys, once you have waited the correct amount of time, this is when you can finally try on the t-shirt for the first time. And guys, here is my final end product. I think it turned out really good. Like I was actually pretty happy with myself. I, I personally could have just made my lines a bit straighter and taken my time a little bit more, but I was actually rushing it. But I do still have the other half if I do want to attempt it again. Or if I want to just make it for someone else, I can do that too. Now what I love about this DIY tutorial is that one, it's so simple, you know, the equipment list is really easy and you don't need to know how to sew. And the other thing that's so good about this tutorial is that you can really just start to customize this exactly how you want. You know, you just find two t-shirts that you really vibe with, you bring them together and you've got your own unique t-shirt that no one else will have. So I do really encourage you guys to give this one a go, especially if you like to kind of like experiment with your style a bit more and just, you know, just put your own spin on things. And like I said, guys, don't get too down if you do mess it up a little bit. That is how we get better. So there will be a lot more DIYs tutorials to come because it is something I want to get better at and I also want to teach you guys along the way. All right, guys, so that is today's video. If you did like it, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below because there will be a lot more fashion, lifestyle, and health and beauty videos to come. Also, guys, come chill out with me on the daily. And you can do this by following my Instagram, which is at on Daniel Simmons. Now, finally, guys, a little bit of an announcement for you. So over the next kind of like week or two, more like two, yeah, two weeks, we'll go two weeks. So I'm gonna be on holiday, uh, going on a little trip. So the schedule is, I'm gonna try my hardest to stick to the schedule. It's just time zones and stuff are gonna be a little bit different. So I will try my hardest and the videos are gonna be slightly different as well. So just bear with me over this next kind of two week period. I'm still gonna try my hardest to pump out the two videos a week for you guys. So in next Sunday's video, you guys will actually finally see where I am and actually what I'm up to. And you'll kind of get why it's all gonna be a little bit different. But yeah guys, thank you so much for all the support. It means the world to me. Have an amazing week. Keep dressing well and I'll see you all next time.